I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have a video ready for this week. I have a whole bunch of content, but I just can't tie it together. <sighs> you know, this uh, this YouTube thing that I'm trying to do, it's, it's, it's hard. I love it, but it's hard. And constantly being able to have to have a story to tell every week forces you to be like super creative. And I'm, I don't know, just trying to learn how to be creative. So I figured today, I'm gonna try to tell you a story about trying to create a story for this week's YouTube vlog. I'm told that the days of daily vlogging and just randomly showing your day are over. Everything has to be structured. There should be a story. And I kind of believe it because all of my favorite YouTube vloggers are amazing at it. They have structure. They have a story. They have dope B-roll. First, I gotta knock out this workout. All this food I've been eating on YouTube and off of YouTube is getting, it's getting bad, dude, and I gotta stay healthy. As healthy as possible. I gotta do something, man, I gotta do something. I'm gonna Google how to tell a good story. All right, first step one, choose a clear central message. Finding a story for this week's YouTube video. Okay? Embrace conflict. I can't find a story for this week's YouTube video. What you got there, Uncle? Bitchy bitchy. Yeah? This is the best. This is the best you've ever had? Best of the best. Homemade. Oh yeah? Homemade. It's from the house. It, it's like, you yeah. know, like your mom's... Oh, okay. Um, from the scratch. Story break. We got the best peachy peachy in Pampanga. Yeah. Check this out! So peachy peachy is a cassava dessert. Mm -hmm. And I've had some really good peachy peachy since I've been out here. So, let's see if it's the best. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Right? You weren't kidding. I mm. feel invigorated. What is invigorated? And anyways. Story time. Back to story time. And Olsen, look at that chimney. Wow, the Giga Hut is looking better than ever. Taking notes from the master. Okay, so next I'm gonna go get the branches from the tree. Because every good story needs a lunch. Before every good story, there's always a good lunch. And today we're having Nilaga, made by this woman right here. Thanks, Apple. about y'all but my favorite part of the laga which may surprise you is the cabbage I think cabbage makes a beautiful nilaga and it's not the most important part but it's my favorite part uh, we are back at SM mall just some quick tips for you. If you are gonna drive to the mall, things you're gonna need. A barya, a mask, and this is not necessary, but if you are here a lot like us, an SM what, Advantage card. Ding! Meet HB. This guy has been my barber for the past three months. I searched long and hard for him. And finally, I found a guy who'd give me a decent fade lineup to take care of my beard. But for some reason, today he decided to give me a goatee that I never asked for. And we're done. So I got my haircut and we got some foot massages. Foot massages? 
We quit massages. Now we're headed to SNR. All right, we're at the Almighty SNR. They're not really nice about us recording, so let's see if I can sneak some stuff. Gotta sneak in some video content. <laughs> Crispy hazelnut cream sandwiches. Sandwich waffles. What? Let's get it. Score. Score. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I wasn't able to find a good story yesterday. I had to remove my ridiculous goatee and I'm still wearing the same shirt and it's the next day. But then I realized that I already have a story. Since I moved here three months ago, I've talked to so many people and I've listened to their stories and here's a little snippet of some of the people I've talked to over the past three months and I realized I think moving forward with this channel I just want to talk to more people and just to find out about what it's like for their lives here in the Philippines. What's your name? Uh, Leo. Leo. How long have you uh, been running this business? Uh, year 1999 to 2022. Oh wow. So that's more than... Fit with the lettuce and uh, mustasa, mustard leaves. Suppose we have onion leeks. We have the burro, but the burro is not fish or shrimp, it's pork. Oh. Here. Yeah. In the future, we're gonna build a uh, event center, like for wedding. Ooh. I'm your events planner. Also help the ecosystem ng mga birds, yung mga... Parang they help propagate your farm. Oh. Hi, Bo. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, RH to family. RHT. Chiza L. She put some stickers on me when I was all the way over there. And she reeled me over here. So I hope they're paying you a lot because you're doing a good job. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out to you, sir. Uh, Kuya RJ. Kuya RJ. Shout out to you, Kuya RJ. Yeah. What? Hello, uh, binabati ko yung mga taga-kaloocan na kaibigan ko dyan. There you go. MF family. Mabuhay kayo. Cool. Meron akong question. Yes, sir. How many times have you had to draw your weapon here? Five times. Five times? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, shout out. <laughs> hey, say hi to the block. Shout out. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Jane Fernandez. I'm Jane. Both of you, your name is Jane? Yes. Jane and Jane? Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Okay. Shout out. Shout out to Justin Velasquez Yoto. Okay. Do you speak English? Come on. Yeah, come on. It's okay. Come on. Yeah. Sige. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this week's episode. Subscribe, like, share with a friend. Love you guys.